Ben, congratulations. Big win for you in the Players' Championship here against the World Match Play Champion. A very dominant performance. You must be over the moon with that. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I think um, Dimitri's the kind of person that I like playing, you know, um, with the title, be a match play champion and stuff like that. That's the people that I want to take out. And uh, I think that works in my favour. It makes me focus more. Um, kind of bottled it a bit near the end. Of, I wish I finished it off a bit quicker. Um, but yeah, I'm over the moon. I was about to ask you on that. Are you pleased that you've bounced back straight away after the disappointment of the Gary Anderson result and performance in the Grand Slam? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I played well against Gary at the Grand Slam. I mean, I'm average 102 and lost. Um, you know, it doesn't happen too often. Um, but I've been, like I've been saying to a few people, you know, I, I played well at that tournament. I didn't feel like I did a huge amount wrong. You just, sometimes you need a little bit of luck there to sort of get you through. And um, yeah, I felt good today. I felt good practicing. And um, I was a bit gutted for it to be three, two at the break, really. I felt like I could have been four, one up, which is a bit of a different game. But um, yeah, I felt like I played decent. There's definitely more in the locker though. You keep telling us you're scoring more and more turn averages, which we're all seeing. You're playing with a freedom now. And people are now talking about you as the outsider that can win these titles. Does that give you confidence? Yeah, for sure. I mean, I'll be, you know, just hearing hearing the interviews from Gary Anderson saying about, you know, talking about me in a positive way and Whitlock and speaking to Adrian Lewis, he says nice things, you know. You know, you got you got to take confidence from that. People like that, you know, they've God, they've been there and done it, you know. So, um, go on, Simon. And uh, <laughs> another Simon Whitlock walking past him. And, uh, yeah, so... Uh, well, I'm in a good place, you know. I, I was defending money there from from a couple of years ago where I missed darts to beat Daryl and he went on and won it, you know. So, um, yeah, look, I'm just, I'm over the moon. Speaking of that, it could be Daryl Gurney in the next round if he can get oh. past a very tough game in Callum Ritz. Would you like another crack at him for that exact reason here, obviously in the Players' Championships? I didn't realise that. Well, that was the first I know. I didn't realise that's who I'll be playing. So, um yeah, hopefully it's Daryl. I'd like to get some revenge for a couple of years ago. <laughs> Have you set yourselves any goals for the next five, six months? Because you've been floating around and you're, like you said yourself, you're almost one big performance. You're making a huge jump. Do you yeah. think that that's now close? And have you set any targets where you'd like to be? Um, no, I don't really set targets. I just like to, um, I'll just like to get on stage and, and play my game. You know, I think, you see it in little spurts, how well I can play. And then all of a sudden my concentration goes and I start playing rubbish. And I feel like if I can hold it together and keep my concentration that I can beat anyone in the world. You know, you've seen that when I won the Players' Championship back in March. I think that the break there didn't help me at all. Um, so yeah, I'm just feeling confident. You know, I've got nothing to lose, you know, so bring it on. You said about the concentration. Is that just an experience thing where these guys have been playing a lot longer on stage than you, do you think? Yeah, maybe. I don't know. It's, that's always been my my biggest weakness. Um, I get myself in a comfortable position, like 5-2 up, 5-3 up with a throw or something, and just look at the next round who I've got or something in the middle of the game and just all of a sudden end up losing, you know. Um, but that's something that I need to work on. I'm gaining more experience by playing on TV a bit more. And, you know, I've, there's no goals. I just, I just want to play as well as I can. That's, that's the main thing. Last one from me. Gary Anderson, when he was speaking, said that you're the only what he calls pro player that lives near him and he wants to give it another crack and he would like to have a practice with you. Is that something you'd like to do is have a really good practice session with Gary Anderson? Because I know he said you, you're his dying hero and everything like that. Oh, for sure. I mean, that, that'd be great. Uh, you know, I've been speaking to his wife, Rachel, and um, hopefully that's something we can sort out maybe in the, uh, in the new year. Um, and maybe if he gets his knee sorted for the Worlds, uh, that's probably unlikely, but um, maybe have a few sessions for the Worlds, you know. So um, if it doesn't happen for the Worlds, it will definitely happen in the new year. And so I think contact has been made. Yeah. Oh, yeah, contact's already made. So, you know, we're on the way to that for sure. Right. Absolute pleasure, mate, talking to you. Wish you all the very best tomorrow. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Uh, Ryan, you say earlier it's been a very productive year for you with the, the Players' Championship winner earlier in the year. Do you think maybe you've been... Your progress has been a little bit halted by the way the, the calendar and everything's fallen due to the way of the world. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you know, I won that Players' Championship. You know, you just look at the names I beat on the way to winning that. And then all of a sudden, 
you have four or five months off, you lose your match sharpness. I mean, at the beginning of lockdown, I was down in my man cave, I was practicing hours and hours a day, thinking, you know, maybe sort of five, six weeks and we'll be back to normal. But, you know, five months later, we have our first tournament back. And that's a long time to be away from, you know, playing the best players in the world. So I think it halted my progress a little bit. Um, but I think I'm on my way now. I, th I feel so much more comfortable on the stage, whereas before... I was a little bit jittery, suffered with a little bit of nerves, but I just I feel so much more comfortable now. And um, yeah, I don't, I don't mind who I play, you know, I just feel like if I can play my game that I can beat anyone. So Obviously the TV tournaments have been sort of uh, compacted into a, a smaller schedule, you could say, in the later in the year. Do you think it's helped a little bit having one tournament after another? I know you've not had the chance to play in all of them, but uh, you've probably had more TV experience than, than before. Yeah, I mean, I think the only one I missed, I missed out on was the match play. Yeah. And I missed out by one spot, like a thousand pound on the rank and something. So, you know, I was obviously, obviously gutted about that. Um, but yeah, I mean, the, all the experience that I'm gaining now is all helping. And I think that's proven in my performances now. I mean, I don't know what average there, it must have been half decent. Um, and there's still some sloppy stuff in there, you know, so there's still stuff to tighten up on. And we'll just go from there. Over the years, you've caused some some big, what they call upsets at, at the World Championship. Do you think people will be looking at you and maybe not thinking they're upsets this year, thinking that, that Ryan Sell's a player to watch? No, oh, I mean, I quite enjoy it when people say it's upsets because in my mind, it's not an upset at all. You know, I feel like if I play my game, I could beat anyone. So um, I quite enjoy people writing me off and thinking, you know, oh, he's got no chance, he's going to lose. That just fires me up to play even better. So, um, yeah, just bring it on. Right, cheers, Ryan. Best of luck in the next one. Cheers, mate. Thank you.